I'm on Salad and I saw The Hidden Fortress. It is directed by Akira Kurosawa. And if you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. The movie starts for following Tahei Maratushi, and I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing his name wrong because I don't know how to pronounce any names. I find this hilarious. We're already getting comedy skits, all right? This is a comedy of errors. They're fully intent on becoming soldiers, but uh oh, they're mistaken for the enemy team. Oh no, the Yuzuki clan, who's been recently defeated, and now they have to go dig bodies, bury bodies, and then they plan to leave? But they're bickering the entire time. And they bicker the entire time during this entire movie. And at this point, I'm like, this is counterproductive. You're gonna get caught this way. What are you doing? Stop! But of course, they get caught, and then they gotta go back, and they gotta go do more digging of the bodies. And it's like, why are you guys bickering all the time? You guys clearly are friends. You guys are clearly in a life or death situation. Somehow, they manage to escape again. But they find gold. What luck? I'm like, okay, first of all, these guys are like the luckiest guys in the world because they bicker constantly and they're somehow able to find gold and then within this wood and then there's this guy following them, which is weird and creepy and I, I honestly follow their perspective so I'm like thinking this guy is creepy but honestly this guy could just be a good guy and these guys could be these two dudes, these two fellows could be like the worst dudes in the world. The guy's name is Roku Roda. I'm gonna call him Roku for sure. He's like a TV. I have a Roku TV, which is why I say that. Dude, this guy is awesome. I love this guy. He is so stoic and he's just so prepared for everything. He's holding this princess, which is supposed to be executed, slayed. It's supposed to be executed order 66. But Palpatine here, it's getting windy. Kind of cold, so I gotta continue. Hurry up. We gotta find a way to get. Yuki, which is the princess of the Yuzuki clan, which this other freaking clan is trying to, yeah, execute her, I just said that. However, we got these two little doofuses, these peasantry doofuses. They, per they concoct the perfect plan to get across the border. I like their little, uh, the, 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 what is that, the zigzag route. Yeah, the zigzag route, instead of going directly across the border, they gotta go through an adjacent one and then go through the adjacent border. And it's like, oh, wow, big brain over here. And so because of that, Roku Soda is like, hmm, you know what? I'm gonna keep y'all around. Y'all are actually useful. And I'm like, heck yeah. All right, guy, what, what shenanigans is gonna happen? I really do like how we have these two peasant guys, Atai uh, and, ah, uh, dang it. I don't want to mispronounce his name. Uh, I'm just going to call them the two peasant dudes because I don't want to mispronounce their names. They are greedy. They can be dependent on greed. The only reason why they agree to help these fellows, these freaking just general and the princess, is hey, uh, may maybe you can get some, some of that gold? Hmm. We're, on we're only existing for the monies. And I'm like, that's not the best way to exist. You should probably like, exist for something else. I don't know, like art or the advancement of human society or uh, science, other things other than money. Money's good too, but you gotta have something else. Like I said earlier, comedy of errors. They bicker. And we have this freaking guy, he's super stoic as heck. Uh, Roku Soda, he's the stoic boy. I do like how the princess, oh my goodness, by the way, I should mention that I watched this uh, uh, subbed. So I watched it uh, while they were speaking Japanese. And I hate the princess's voice. It's like, ah, yeah, I'm, I'm so high pitch. Ha, 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 yeah, ah, yeah. And it's like, so it's, it seems so aggressively high pitched. And with that combination, I just hate it. It's like, ugh, stop, stop speaking. Good thing you are mute during half of the movie. You have to play mute during half the movie or else I would go insane. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, the plans are foiled. Oh no, they're gonna get caught. Oh, but hey, they're on horseback. They got a bunch of horses, which by, by the way, I like. I like how Roku Soda's like, oh, these two guys, they caught us. Well, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ride my horse next to them and I'm gonna chop them with a nice little samurai. And I'm like, hi, yes, guy, but he just ends up driving. No, this is not a car. He ends up running, horseback riding. I guess that's what it is. Horseback riding into the enemy. And he's a rival and he defeats the rival, but he doesn't kill him. And so the guy's like, 
honor, kill me for honor. I'm like, you gotta appreciate that you're still living, that you can still learn. All right, I know this is a this isn't America. America, there's no honor, no honor whatsoever. Who cares about honor? Uh, if there, if America cared at all about honor, only 10% of the population would be obese. But no, I'm just saying that's just that's just my theory. Wow, the princess gets caught. Oh my goodness, I'm definitely skipping over a few things but I'm covering what I like the most about this movie. The princess gets caught and these freaking two peasant dudes are like, oh, we're just gonna uh, talk, to, talk, to the, talk to the guys, the general dudes, the people who caught, who caught the princess. We're gonna do a thing like tattle. Hey, do we get a reward? No reward. Come on, man, you were perceived as the enemy. You, per you thought there was gonna be any reward at all, ever? Oh my goodness, what? How stupid, dumb are these guys? Like, ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Through dumb luck, it seems they eventually make it out of this uh, this encampment, this 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 prison tree, the the almost execution that, that happened. And I'm like, okay, all right, you guys did it with all the bickering and all the not bickering and greed instead of bickering. Somehow you guys make it out alive. You guys make it to the other side. And it's nice because you can tell it's the other side by the little L L emblems on their flags when they're riding on the horsebacks. So I'm like, hey, I like that. I could have a little visual motif for me to understand that these are the guys that they're trying to go with. And I like that. And also now we have the princess is in a cool little wardrobe, which I like. Also the freaking samurai. He, he broke a soda. He looks like a big old samurai, man. I I like him a lot, honestly. If you are a samurai, please let me know in the comments below. I want to know if there's any modern day samurai here. Anyway, the movie ends and they're they're off on the ride. They're on their way. They got one of the Rios, I think. It, I looked it up and it's it's a currency before yen. And I looked at the equivalency. It's like essentially $100, $200. Uh, practically, it's like $40. Uh, I, well, I guess if you if you know yen, uh, uh, remove remove two 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 zeros. So I guess uh, I did my math wrong. It's actually a thousand dollars, or maybe four hundred dollars. Man, that's that's a lot of that's a lot of worth. That's a lot of money. Oh boy, they did it. There was a lot of funny moments, like when we have the freaking two peasant guys are like trying to climb up this wall. Uh, not a wall, it's, it's like a rock. So there's a bunch of loose rocks to try to climb up this hill and they keep falling because of loose rocks. And then we have freaking Roku Soda just like walks up it casually because he chooses, chooses a different route. There's a lot of funny comedic moments. I also do like how all of the characters are fleshed out. They're all entirely different characters, which makes me so happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like this a lot. I really like the acting in this one. I really like everyone's part in this one, and it feels like I'm in a lived world. I feel like I'm among, on along the journey with all of these fellows, and I really like this movie a lot. I, I, I just like it. Like, I don't know what else to say. I just like it. So I gotta give this movie like a solid 8 out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one. YouTube really likes that. If you like to fast track a movie review for $20 reduce, you can do that at patreon.com slash ASCPresents. And if you'd like to help support the daily grind in this of all these daily movie reviews, go to this link tree. Find the way you can help support the daily grind of all these daily movie reviews. So you can go here. And until next time, I'm in Sal. I'll see you later, my Sal Croutons, Bigabits.